so today is a sort of different video, I wanted to touch base on this topic since it is another one that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. During the FNF I've been 2014 all the way to 2015, the company Sanshi made multiple items to capitalize on this FNF craze. In that bunch was the extremely popular Five Nights at Freddy's plus set, and it has become one of the most popular plus sets among fans to this day. So let's take a look at it and its history. If you ask any FNF fan if they would choose Sanchi over Funko, about 80% of them will choose Sanchi. They are known for making their plush look near or identical to their in-game counterparts and really care about what their fans think. Not that Funko doesn't do the same, but Sanchi just does it better. So to start off this section I want to talk about what a Sight plush is versus a Fat Modo plush. The Sight plushes are the ones with this tag, while the Fat Modo plushes are the ones with this tag. The Sight ones are the higher quality versions of the Fat Modo plush, which came after the Sight ones. There really isn't much else of a difference but I wanted to bring this up since I won't go over every sight and fat mojo difference in this video. It kinda speaks for itself, but it also lets you know how oh, rare a plush is and isn't. That's another thing I want to go over. Prices. These plush skyrocket in price depending on who's selling them and what condition they are in. Most go for $100 to $200 which is insane. I did a test a few months back and listed all my Sanchi plush in different sites for $400 each. I wanted to see if people actually wanted to buy these in the lengths they would go to get them. It was a 50-50 test. I mostly got threats and angry messages but a good chunk of people made offers on them and liked them. Of course I didn't sell them at that price and went on to sell them for lower prices and ended up buying brand new ones but it was an odd test I thought I should mention. Anyways let's start. So to start off I will go over the three bears, Freddy Golden Freddy and Fred Bear. Out of all of these, Fred Bear is the one that is gonna run you for your money. Sanchi has already announced that they will remake all the plush but Fred Bear has yet to be announced. So for right now he is definitely the harder one to find. All of these have their key features such as their bow ties and hats. And they all look great. Golden Freddy is also looking off to the side for some reason. I never understood that since he never does this in the game but I guess it was a stylization choice. You can move Fred Bear and Golden Freddy's eyes since they are on single joints but I don't suggest doing it. You could possibly break them and that would obviously be awful so be careful. Anyway let's take a look at our next set of plushes. Let's start with Foxy, being the most popular character. It's no surprise that he was the first plush produced. He has all his key features, and is definitely one of the best looking. In fact I think they all look great and it really shows how much care went into these plush. The red fur will vary on each plush, some are bright red and others are dark. Frankly I prefer the dark red. But let's now take a look at Bonnie. He is probably the only one you're gonna notice that never had a sight plush tag. Sanchu never made one of them in-house, that will probably change in the new batch but the originals were all made by Fat Mojo, which is really odd. Nonetheless he is still great, he has his bow tie and the ears actually have plastic in them to keep them upright. Now let's look at Chica, Chica has to be my favorite plush in this set. In fact she's two in one, her copy comes off since it's magnetic and I always thought that was really cool. It does make her a little more expensive but I think it's worth it. She is probably the one in highest demand, I can see why. Everything about her is great and personally I think she is the one that's identical to her in-game counterpart. Overall a great plush. Another quick video since there isn't too much to talk about but before we end this off I want to talk about the re-releases we don't have any in-hand images yet but if you ask me, I think their stock photos leave much to be desired. They seem to have taken a dip in quality. They did give us some new images to show how these are made and they look pretty good. So I have a feeling the stock photos just aren't that great in quality. 
I know this isn't Spongebob related and that's why I changed the voice for this video but I wanted to go over this topic too. There is going to be more Spongebob coming so stay tuned. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great day.